Hello and welcome to another episode of Drams Delivered. Um, what we've got today is, is something really, really special um, from the Isle of Razé. So Razé is a little island off the west coast of Scotland. Um, it's very, very sort of inaccessible but accessible at the same time. So the way to get to Razé is you would get a bridge to the Isle of Skye. And then when you're on the Isle of Skye, there's a, about a 25-minute ferry that takes you to a little island called the Isle of Razé. Uh, very, very small island. I think the population is about 120 people. They have one hotel, or technically two now, with, with Razé Distillery. A couple of shops and, and one school. So it's, it's probably kind of back to your roots a little bit, John, on the West Coast. The West Coast. The West Coast. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the liquid itself, the distillery I said was, was found in 2014, so we are trying quite relatively new whiskey. It is, is quite young. Um, you've probably noticed already the, the packaging is, is very, very striking. So I think there's actually a lot to talk about in the liquid here, which I think John's going to tell us a little bit about the breakdown. But I'm going to do the deboxing this week and I'm excited for it because... It is an absolutely stunning bottle. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite bottle designs ever. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Although there's me giving it praise and I can't get the <laughs> bloody lid off. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Wow. So, Look yeah. at that. So beautiful, beautiful glass. There's a, a fossil imprint in, in the glass as well, which I believe they found a fossil on Razzie and, and actually took an exact print of it and put it on the bottle. So it's... It's, yeah, there's been a lot of care and attention put into this. So I think we'll uh, we'll get it open and have a sample as well. So interesting first release, John. Um, and this isn't the oh, inaugural yeah. release. Not oh, much of, sorry, not much of a pop, pop there. The pop, the pop. That My goodness, I'm uh, too excited. I want to get my glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh. not the best. <laughs> Marks off for the cork. I, I mean, know, Fantastic sorry. looking bottle, but no, no pop. I know, sorry. See if was... you can work on that, Rassi. Yeah, that's, that should be their, their key topic at their next meeting, I think. Yeah, it needs to be fixed. Yeah. So tell us, John, what is in the glass? So, Rassi are kind of going for that classic West Coast thing of having a, a bit of smoke, but it's not overpowering. Um, so you've got peated malt and unpeated malt being produced at Rassi, and um, it's quite a fruity flavour profile. So there's three different kinds of casks that go into this go into this bottle. So you've got chinkapin oak, you've got bordeaux casks, and you've got ex rye casks. And then you have peated and unpeated spirit in all three of those casks. So really there's six different cask types mm. um, that are actually going into what we are drinking here today. And it's bottled at 46.3, I want to say. 46.4. Sorry, it was 0.1% away. <laughs> I, 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 um, could, I could smell that. It was but yes, not quite right. Lightly peated, balanced with rich, dark fruit flavours. Yeah, it does smell. You do get the peat on the nose straight away, actually. It's um, got that kind of earthy, muddy, very almost... Farmyard dare smell. Dare I say, like, yeah, farmyard manure-like kind of peat. Which is not a good thing. Which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad thing. And it's it's a really interesting release, actually, from Razzie. You know, there's, there's a new wave of distilleries, I think we were chatting about. You know, there's lots of, yeah. you know, Arden America and there's Razzie. Um, and... This is really exciting. Just the cast types, John, we're talking through there. I mean, we've got lots of whiskey in the bar, and I don't think there's very many rye casks. There's very few yeah. Bordeaux casks. Chinkapin oak is something I'd never heard of until, until Razzie had used it. So a really bold and interesting release that mm -hmm. they're really kind of doing things differently on the island. Um, yeah. Should we have a wee taste? Let's and have see. a... Yeah, slancha. Slange. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, fruity, fruity smoke. What more do you need? It's like sweet smoke, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely lovely. Um, great balance of flavours. Yeah, it is. I think the, the whiskey is quite young. Um, I think with time it's going to really, really develop. But mm. peated whiskey when it's younger is actually sometimes more lively and vibrant. Um, as peated whiskey ages, it maybe takes on more character of the casks, which I think what we will find in later years with Razzie. But... When it's young, it's very vibrant, it's very fresh, and that, as I say, like, 
farmyard, earthy mm. kind of notes really come through. Um, I'm yeah. a big fan of that. That's yeah, that's delicious. lovely. Yeah. Other good points with Razzie, they're they're very sort of they have sustainability um, at the heart and and providing jobs on the west coast. Um, I know you're from Ardnamurk and John. Yes. Um, what do you feel? Do you think this is good for the West Coast or do you think this yeah, is think not the way it should be going? absolutely fantastic. I mean, if you looked at Rasse as an island before yeah. the distillery was there, there was very little employment, there was very little keeping people on the island and now you have people wanting to come back and you have a sustainable form of employment on the island, which is fantastic. Um, all of the maturation and the bottling is done on Rasse. Again, keeping it, keeping it there rather than outsourcing it to somewhere else which is great and yeah I think it's been absolutely fantastic for the area yeah. and I think it's yeah a model that more people should be following. Yeah so, I agree it was um, yeah. I, I've been lucky enough to visit Razzie um, and it was it was somewhere I probably wouldn't have visited unless there was a distillery um, there's so many little islands on, on the west coast and sometimes you think oh, why, why would I go there you know there's not maybe the hotels may a bit run down or it's a bit mm. tired so it's great to see investment in these little islands yeah. Um, we we arrived and it, you, you get the ferry in and it's just amazing. It's a couple hundred meters up the hill, and you're at the distillery with an amazing view. And I, I sent some photos to my family and said, "Look, this look at this distillery." And my dad actually got back to me and said, um, "He he's an engineer, so I don't know if any of you have engineers in the family, but wherever you go, that person will tell you what they've built." So, <laughs> 20 years ago, Dad built the pier in Razzie. So, I was sending him photos of the distillery, and I swear he said, I'm not, he said it was lovely, but he was more keen to see if the pier was still standing. So, to his joy, it was. So, there's a great photo of me just on the pier. Well, it's not even me on the pier, it's actually just a photo of the pier. Um, which I think excited him quite a lot. So I bet you it's a good looking pier though. It's do you know it's sturdy. It's, a, it's sturdy. Well made. Just yeah. been there for a long time. Yeah. And w I think he probably thinks without the pier there wouldn't be a Razzie distillery. Well there wouldn't be. There wouldn't be. How know? are you gonna get on and off the island? That's yeah. it, you know? So yeah. um so yeah, no, Razzie's a, a great place. Um great pier, great distillery, and I think worth worth a visit. Yeah. Fantastic drive. Yeah. Hope you guys agree. Yeah, hope you agree. I think I think that's probably it for Razzie. I think, you know, if you if you get the chance to go, definitely, definitely go and go and visit. Um but yeah, we're big fans and they're a lovely distillery to, to work with as well. Um, the guys are extremely supportive and helpful and they've helped support us with, with this on Drams Delivered. So a uh, big thanks to them. Um and a big thanks to you guys for continuing to to get on board with Drams Delivered and hopefully we can share more exciting drams like this in the future. So cheers. Flange.